You're finding more and more families that are being homeless. So the face of homelessness in general is changing. It's very tough when you're homeless and you have kids. They want to have a home, they want to have their bedroom. But if you We're so excited to tell you about this. While working here at Ken's Five, something happened to one of our overnight news photographers. He was working late one night and he encountered something that changed his life forever. Now, He's working on a project that has a lot of people talking for a lot of different reasons. I'm proud to introduce you to producer and editor and news photographer, Jarius Payne. Hey, Jay. We call you Jay around here. Yes, ma'am. It's good to talk to you. Yes, ma'am. I'm happy to be on the show. It's good to have you. I remember the day that you came into my office and you told me about this and I was blown away. I want you to share with people the story of what happened to you one night. You normally work overnights in yes, news, shooting crimes and whatever's going on overnight. Yes, what happened one night? One night, uh, an older guy, a homeless man in his mid-50s, he got hit by a via bus. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had to go live that morning, and I pulled into Columbus Park, and I had been running around all morning, and I was hungry. And I was the only photographer that right, night, right. so I had to shoot all of the scenes. And I get back to the truck after me and Marvin Hurst went live, uh -huh. and then I get to my food, and I look to my left, and I felt something tap me on my shoulder, and I guess it was God. Yeah. And I looked to the left, I seen this homeless couple shivering. And it was 70 outside, it was uh, almost humid, and I was like, why are they shivering? So I bought them my food, which was oatmeal, and I said, here you guys go, I got some oatmeal, I got bananas, I got peanuts, everything yeah. in there, honey. And they started to smile, and then I walked off. Then my spoon was wrapped with a $5 bill. And you gave it to them. And then I walked back, and then, it snapped in my head, that's my next project. That's your next project. And so what you did from that moment on, you said, I want to do something because I want people to understand what this life is like yes. on the street for not just adults, but for kids, yes, for young people. You picked up a camera and what did you find? I found the most unbelievable stories from any age. I met a guy, 51, been mm. homeless 41 years. Wow. So that makes him homeless since he was 10 years old. Right. And that's this guy right here, Dennis, and he catches seizures. He has bad medical issues. I feel San Antonio can do way more with our homeless. Can do way more. What do you feel, Jerry? I mean, you've, out, you've been out there, you've heard these stories, and not only you know, have, you, have you gone out and documented, but you've spent the night on the street with them, living the life that they live. What do you think the city can do? What can we do is, you know, because we've all seen this. We throw away food every night. Mm -hmm. People throw away food every night. Restaurants throw away food every night. Businesses. Everybody has something that they throw away every month that a homeless person can use. Yeah. And the cops, I don't like how the cops handle the homeless. They write them numerous citations. How could they pay? How can they pay for? And then for... they give them community service and it's like they're an indentured servant. Yes. Well, you know, so much, there's always something else that can be done. Now, you have copies of The Concrete Pillow on DVD, and you want to donate a copy to anyone, but you want something in return. What yes. is that? Donations, anything you can give to Food the homeless. Food would be great. Food, hygiene packs, blankets, socks, clothes, kids, toys. Anything, and it's coming from my hand to theirs. It's not going through any donation stations. From my hand to theirs, each and every person. I love that. So when we lay down tonight on our soft, fluffy pillow, think about the concrete pillow I've that so many people it. have to, to lay down on every night. The phone number to reach you? 210-800-4613. You can reach me anytime, all day, because I am an overnight photographer. Yes. <laughs> good job, Jerris, and a good one. We'll be right back, everybody. Good job.